Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and today I'm finally back with more NCT videos, yes. Before we get started, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on my channel and my videos. I would very much appreciate it. Also, if you have just a second, please check out the links in the description below. They include my Etsy shop where I sell K-pop Polaroids, bracelets, and paintings. Today, we are getting started with the seventh sense, which I believe is the NCT U's debut song. So we're going to watch the music video and then I think we're going into a performance video because I could not find dance practice. If there is one, I just didn't look hard enough, so that's my bad. Um, I'm very excited. I'll be totally honest. This is like a random thing. I like Boss by them so much but I sometimes go back late at night just to rewatch my reaction to it because it's exactly the same every time I watch that video and that practice. I love that song. I hope I really enjoy The Seventh Sense as much or more than I enjoyed Boss. I can't wait to check it out with you guys. So let's get started. This light filter. Um, 
the way the flow is R and B, but they're rapping over it, and then we get that like the falsetto. I like need a moment. Oh my gosh, the dancing is is um interesting for sure. I can't wait to see it all together, but it's. Uh, they're accenting all the parts in the music that made me like, ooh. So then to see them accented in the dance was like, ha! Huh, so good. I Am I going to not be able to explain anything? Because I'm like at a loss for words and it's the first video of the day. Oh no. <laughs> oh my, oh. Ooh, it's so good. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna watch the performance video. I'm gonna try and take notes. Chances are I'm not gonna take any notes and then we're just gonna have to go one by one through all the parts in this video because, you know, that's just how it works. Okay, here we go, performance video. This ending section is stupid. And that does not mean it's bad. It means the opposite of bad. I need to watch the ending again. Hold on. Open your eyes. 
See, I can't see what the other ones are doing at the ending here, which is sort of frustrating. Because it was so cool in the music video. We're going to watch it in the music video, because i got to see that ending part. I can't tell if it's five different pieces of choreography, if they break off into five parts, or three parts, or two parts. I cannot tell. Oh, I see it. Okay. It's three parts. Got it. Okay. This, like, messes with my mind in a very strange way. Um, so when we watched the, per, the music video, I was focused mainly on the sound. That was, like, my main focus. The second part was me focusing mostly on the movement. And when I focused just on the sound, I had a better time enjoying it overall. When I focused on the movement, I got kind of confused, to be totally honest. While yes, the movements totally like match up with the overall sound, it's also just unexpected. And I'll sort of explain more about that as we go through my notes. This is very interesting to me. And it's in a good way. It's in a good way, and we'll talk about it. So the first thing I want to talk about is that beginning pose. Um, I really like how subtle it is, how the movements are. They're so smooth, and it's very, like, eye manipulation almost, where, like, they're all moving as one to the beat, even though one of them is, like, just resting on one hand and one leg, which is so strong, good for you, could not be me. And then the rest of them are just, like, hitting that beat together. I love the strength and intensity we got within the first five seconds. Something they do throughout the entire dance, and they do it so well, is choosing who is dancing in the formation. And the first time this happens, we have them in like a reverse triangle, so it would be facing this way. Um, the person in the back and the two in the very front stand still. It's the two in the middle who are doing moving choreography. And then they do this the whole time throughout the dance. There's another time where they have a line where like the front people are standing still and the back people go through the line and continue choreography. And then we see it at the end, which I have now figured out, they change back and forth between who's moving. I think we start with the person in the center and then we start with the people in the back. And then it goes from like this line and this line to a diagonal to these two people are the same, these two people are the same, and the person in center is doing their own thing. So we have three parts of choreography by the time we get to the very end. Whoa. Like for the number of dancers they have, to have just five dancers, the creativity they did to cause different visuals and to cause different levels, and it's not even that they made a bunch of levels like up and down, but levels with movement, and it was just so interesting. I think they did a wonderful job of that. We had a lot of movements with like arm crossing or like this was happening. Um, where's the specific part? There's one right after they do the jump spin, their arms cross there. Let me see that part really quick. Where is that? There it is. Oh, this? That's actually, um... A move that's pretty common. Stray kids do that. The double, the double, not da, da, da. Anyway, it's it's not that it's a bad thing that it's common, especially because I believe this came before Stray Kids um, double knot. Anyway, it's just there's a bunch of movements in this that are taken from just general choreography. Like they did this when we watched Boss, and they do it again here. And obviously this came first if this is their debut song. So I wonder if Boss was recalling that moment because they do that twice right back to back in this one. So it's just, there's a lot of choreography in this that I recognize from other dances, from other pieces of choreography. And it's just super interesting how they did it here, and that's what we're going to talk about next. So they do very interesting pauses and flow with the music. For most of this, 
they are following the flow of lyrics. So even though the beat throughout is very much like doom, 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 da da da, doom, doom, like that's the most of the beat throughout. And then the flow of the lyrics is like da na na na, da na 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 na, until we get to rapping sections. For most of this, they follow the flow of the rap or the lyric. There's a couple tiny moments where they're hitting the, um, like the da 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 beat instead of a lyric. It's just very interesting because the movements they are doing is like very strong and like punchy, but instead of what we normally see, which would be like one, two, three, four, it's foom, but it's like just as intense. Foom, foom, foom. It's slowed down, but not slow motion. It's just slower to the beat of the song. I I really haven't seen that before in K-pop specifically. I know I say that a lot in my videos, but like when I see something for the first time, I want to point it out. Because I've seen people do slow motion in their choreography, but I haven't seen what I consider to be like, normally it's just in a faster tempo, is like a punching motion into something else. You don't like freeze your punch. Like, I can't even describe it well because I can't, I haven't, like, talked about it before. It was really interesting, and I think that's what made this, when I was just watching the first one and listening to the sound of this, it was very much, like, more, um, digestible. Then, when I watched the performance video, because the choreography and the pacing of the movements I'm so familiar with, the movements I'm like, yes, got it, understood. The way those movements were incorporated to the music, my brain does not understand, but I love that because it's so interesting. It is cool. I really like it. It's very cool. We got a lot of moments of like, um, torso and hip rolling, which I really enjoyed, especially the one where we have like one, two, three, four, and five in the center, where they their legs are out and they roll to bring their legs in and stand up super quick, like their feet do that thing where they come in together and they roll up. That's like my favorite section. That part is so, because they do vroom, knees in, feet, feet, feet up. Oh my gosh, that part is so cool. It's so, that's like a slow-mo part that they then like, quick, 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 quick. Ooh, it's so nice. I also really liked the formation where the three of them linked arms and the other two dancers interacted with that. Oh, that was such a sick visual and something so cool to do with so few dancers. I was not expecting it. They didn't have it in the music video or they did and I missed it. I love that part. Uh, I really like that part. It's super cool. Very nice. I also really like the moving formation because instead of just like doing choreography where members switch but the formation stays the same, the entire formation was picked up and moved to this side of the room. And they did it while doing like kicking, floating choreography. Really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed just the different visual that created. Instead of just staying on center and just switching people, they were like, nah fam, we're gonna take all of us and go on a trip. And I was like, let me come, because that's fun. I like that. Um, the last comment I wanna make is, while aesthetically I did enjoy the black versus the color um, like editing of this, it sort of interrupted the continuity of the choreography for me personally. And this might be just a me thing because I sometimes have a hard time concentrating if there's too much stimulus. And I feel like my brain being like, ooh, black and white, ooh, color, ooh, black and white, instead of being like, okay, they punched a kick to spin to this. I was like, oh, no, they punched, they kick color. And so it was harder for me to concentrate on what choreography was happening or what was going on with formations because of the transition of the video. But just as a fan, I really would enjoy like that flash of like different scenery. So that's just my two cents on like why I wish this had a dance practice because that editing probably wouldn't happen in a dance practice, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. 
overall, this is such a sick, like, R&B flow, but with rapping. So interesting. The choreography, man, I just can't get over the moves that we're, like, so familiar with. But the timing of the way they used them is so interesting. I can't wait to edit this video so I can watch it all over again because it's just really cool. I really haven't seen anything like that before. Um, so yes, excited to be back with NCT. Can't wait to do more in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you next time. Bye!